I'm going to demonstrate the setup of the tripod. It can be used for either permanent or temporary installations of lightweight equipment such as the MyMet weather stations or antenna systems. The seven segment tripod comes with seven of the mast leg segments, three of which have the adjustable foot pre-installed and one is contained within the tripod hub with a cable spreader at the top. An assembly is done by inserting each of the legs into the hub. The next step is to attach the cables to the top of the mast. The cables pass through a hole in the spreader and loop over the top of the mast. By looping the ends over the leg of the tripod, I'm also going to extend each of the legs to their maximum height. This allows for feeding the mass tubes from the bottom of the tripod. The cables are wrapped underneath the locking pin and the wire clamp is closed over the cables. So I will do this for each of the three legs. With the cables in place, the tripod is ready to be staked. Each of the feet has four large holes. These are suitable for half inch rebar stakes. For demonstration purposes, I am using 12 inch long stakes, 18 or 24 inch. That would be 30 millimeter or 45 millimeter stakes are recommended. So we're now ready to raise the mast. In this case, I've elevated the adjustable legs to the topmost position. This allows the mass to be fed from the bottom of the tripod. The equipment can be attached prior to elevating the, tri the mast. The uh, locking holes allow for the mast to maintain the same orientation. With four mass segments in place, the height of this tripod is about 15.5 feet. With the mast fully erected, the guide cables can be tensioned. The method I use is to tighten the top clip finger tight. This allows the cable to be pulled through and held tight. While tightening the nuts with the wrench. Once one side is snug with the wrench, then you can release your grip on the cable and tighten up both sides of the clip. When all three guide lines are tightened, the lower clips are positioned toward the bottom. This pulls the cable tight around the leg. When seating the guide cables around the locking pins, ensure that the cable does not become stuck underneath or on top of the head of the locking pin. So by pressing on the end of the pin, you can release the cable so it's pulled against the pin itself rather than the head. The advantage of this configuration with the cable attached to the legs is the tripod is very portable. You don't have any cables extending beyond the area of the tripod base and so there aren't any cables to trip over. Alternatively, the, ca the cables could be staked farther from the tripod to provide additional stability. In some cases that may be necessary. The, uh, another advantage of this particular configuration is the tripod legs, the pins can be removed and the tripod legs adjusted without having to make any significant changes to the length of the guy cables.
for servicing, the pin can be removed and the mast lowered and each segment removed until your equipment at the top of the mast is in an accessible position and then reinserted. If the guy cables have already been tensioned, there is pressure on this pin and you'll have to press up firmly on the base of the mast in order to remove and insert the locking pin. The 10 segment kit has several advantages over the 7. The additional three segments can either be used to extend the height of the mast or to extend the legs. In this case I've installed all three segments on the tripod legs. This elevates the hub so that it can straddle any obstacles, fences, brush, or rocks. It also improves the stability of the tripod and it elevates the equipment so that it's less accessible to any passersby, livestock, or wildlife. It also can elevate the equipment above any snow depth that may accumulate. In this case I have the cables attached to the legs. If the mast is dropped to the ground and used with the mast anchor kit, then these guide lines will need to be attached or staked separately. The disadvantage to having the tripod at this height is that the equipment can be more difficult to access and install. Some equipment may need to be accessed with a ladder or steps tool, or the tripod may have to be laid over on its side for equipment installation.